Well, ARRL Field Day is here again. It's Ham Radio's open house. Every June, more than 35,000 hams throughout North America set up temporary transmitting stations in public places to demonstrate ham radio science, skill, and service to our communities and our nation. It's so much more than just another contest. It combines public service, emergency preparedness, community outreach, and technical skills, all in a single event. Field Day has been an annual event since 1933 and still remains the most popular event in amateur radio. On the fourth weekend of June of each year, radio amateurs gather with their clubs, groups, or simply with friends to operate from home or remote locations. Field Day is a picnic, a campout, practice for emergencies, an informal contest, and most of all, fun. It's also a time where many aspects of amateur radio come together to highlight our many roles. While some will treat it as a contest, other groups use the opportunity to practice their emergency response capabilities. It is an excellent opportunity to demonstrate amateur radio to the organizations that we might serve in an emergency, as well as the general public. For many clubs, ARRL Field Day is one of the highlights of their annual calendar. The contest part is simply to contact as many other stations as possible, and to learn to operate our radio gear in abnormal situations and less than optimal conditions. However, traditional field day operations were compromised last year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Since we are still grappling with restrictions and safety practices this year, hams have continued to do their part in stopping the spread of this disease by limiting the size of gatherings, by wearing masks, hand washing, and by observing social distancing. That makes a traditional group field day activity much more difficult to do safely. ARRL, which sponsors and organizes field day each year, has altered the rules temporarily to allow more single operators to operate at home stations. The rules now include plenty of options to either participate safely in groups or for members to participate using their own radios at their own locations. That location may be your ham shack at home, your backyard, a public park, a farm field, or a church parking lot. Anywhere you have the owner's permission and where you are able to follow the health guidelines or guidance from your local government or health professionals. Field Day starts Saturday, June 26, 2021, at 1800 hours UTC, and ends Sunday the 27th at 2059 hours UTC. Field Day contacts may be made on 160, 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meter HF bands, as well as all VHF and UHF and above amateur radio frequencies. Bands not listed here are off-limits for Field Day operations, as are all FM repeaters. Field Day is open to all amateurs in the areas covered by the ARRL, RAC field organizations, and countries within IARU Region 2. Remember, Field Day is not a contest. It is an operating exercise. It is, however, a great way to get introduced to contesting without the pressure of actually jumping into a real contest. When you can start setting up depends upon your class and other particulars. The complete set of rules, regulations, and contest scoring are way too involved in detail to be covered here in this short video. Go to the ARRL website at www.arrl.org and search Field Day 2021 for a complete set of rules and regulations. But I'll go over some of the more basic setups that you'll probably employ. Hams may operate as one or more persons at home on commercial power or alternate power like solar or batteries. It is just as likely you will be in some remote location like a park, backyard, parking lot, or farm field. Remember to get permission from any property owners and to stay cognizant of the local government and health professional requirements or restrictions. Your class is designated as a number and letter. The number is the number of transmitters operating simultaneously and on different bands under the same call sign. The letter determines the class, and the class of station you are operating depends upon the circumstances. For instance, Class A is a club or group operating from one location, using generators, batteries, or other emergency power to run all transmitters and receivers, and utilizing no permanent antennas or towers. This is what clubs have traditionally done in the past. Class B is one or two hams operating under one call sign from a remote location using generators, batteries, or other emergency power to run all transmitters and receivers. They can run multiple transmitters with no permanent antennas or towers, but must use only one call sign. This would be a great activity for ham radio club members that want to go outdoors, alone or with a buddy, 
put up a portable antenna and operate from an emergency power source for a while. Class C is mobile stations. The radio, power source, and antenna must all be mounted in or on the vehicle. Everything must be able to move together. Class D is for home stations running commercial power. It's okay to operate field day from home, and because of a temporary rule waiver, you may count contacts with other Class D stations. The ARRL doesn't want field day to become a contest where everyone stays home and works everyone else at home. But the rules offer flexibility to participate fully from home if you choose. Class E is for home stations operating on emergency power. You can stay at home and operate any other field day stations as long as your transmitter and receiver are powered by a generator, battery, solar panel, or the like. Now this is important. Be aware of an additional temporary rule change for 2021. This year, Class D and Class E stations will be limited to 150 watts PEP output power. That means if you're operating from home on commercial power or emergency power, your transmitting power must be kept to 150 watts or less. Class F is for stations operating from an emergency operations center, such as the Red Cross, Firehouse, Police Station, or Hospital. Let's look at some sample stations. One transmitter and one operator operating from a public park with portable antennas and emergency power would be Class 1B. With two transmitters on different bands would be 2B. One transmitter with one operator working from home with commercial power and your regular hamshack gear and antennas would be 1D. Two transmitters and two operators working from home with commercial power and your regular hamshack gear and antennas would be 2D. One transmitter with one operator working from home with battery, generator, solar, or any other non-commercial power and your regular hamshack gear and antennas would be 1E. Two transmitters and two operators working from home with battery, generator, solar, or any other non-commercial power and your regular hamshack gear and antennas would be 2E. One operator with all gear located in or on a vehicle would be 1C. There are more combinations and special caveats than we have time for here. Consult the ARRL website for more detail. One last thing. What modes may we use? Well, the answer is simple. Any mode is acceptable. CW, phone, any digital mode, SSTV, satellite contacts, meteor scatter, RTTY, anything goes. So, show us what you can do. Set up something simple or complicated. Work from home or cow pasture. Make QSOs with CW or high-speed data. Run your gear on commercial mains or a bicycle generator. Operate high power or QRP. Dust off that old rig and see if the tubes still work. Maybe the new solar cycle will be on your side. Get out there. Improve your own personal communications capability. Help show off the very best of amateur radio. And have a whole lot of fun while you're at it. <laughs>